Hey, Don Copeland here with the uh, Compress IUV-1200S, and no, that is not me. That would be Hannah's dog, and uh, Hannah actually had this piece of artwork uh, done from a website you went in. They had a bunch of different templates you could have them drop your dog into, and um, her dog likes to look at himself, I guess, while he's eating or drinking his water, and so she had this design. She has been chasing me for I don't know how long to get this printed, so today we thought so we'd take an opportunity to do it. We're going to show you here steps we went through to print this. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's very simple printing out and targeting like we do in all of our videos. Drop the artwork in and let it rip. This, this design print around 10 minutes or so and easily you could put two of these up on the bed and print two in 15 minutes. A great money maker. Let's show you how we did it. We're going to jump in here real quick to the designer and show you a real short nickel tour of what we did. We actually set up hash marks out here in the corners that actually represent 16 by 24 which is the size of our canvas. And as you can see, those are on layer one, all right? Then what I've done is on layer two, I've actually brought in our design and actually size it slightly larger than the, the 16 by 24. I've gone about a third of an inch out, divided by two, a sixth of an inch in height and width wise are about a quarter of an inch each direction. We're gonna keep that turned off now. The first thing we would do is gonna grab all these marks here. I'm gonna print these over to the printer and I'm going to print these because my mat that on, on the printer is black, so I want to be able to see my, my uh, corners. I'm going to actually print this to the white only queue. All right. And I had the other layer turned off, so I don't need to worry about that. We will jump over here to our white queue. We will have brought this in. See our corners right there. We actually have, for this type of work, we have an extra fast print mode for this. We're going to rip it and we'll print this and while it's printing what we'll do is we'll go back and show you what we did with the next all right these are selected didn't even waste a tenth of a penny of ink send that over to the printer come back here the next step is going to be is to actually turn off the hash marks turn on the print make sure it's on the image turn it on the print this is the hand his dog that's been turned into royalty, which if you knew the way that she treats a dog, that's yeah, pretty fitting, all right? And so once again, we've got this also set up to be in the exact same spot over top where those cross hairs are gonna get a little bit of bleed over. And I would take this, and I'm gonna send this over now, but this time we wanna print this directly to the color printing mode. So I'm gonna go to single pass only, and print this over to there. There it is. I'm going to print this in our fine color only mode. Go ahead and rip that and see what our cost on printing this beast is. All right, there we have it. As you see up here, $1.94. I'm going to take this job. I'm going to simply click print right here, and it's going to send the job over to the printer, and we'll get it started printing. Let's see how that comes out. So I've set the canvas down here between the, the four corners. Remember, we, we generally on these type of prints, we oversize. So in the software, I'm actually going to size this up maybe a quarter of an inch, third of an inch larger than the actual canvas. So we'll get a bleed over. So that's fine. There's going to be plenty of thing. We're not going to have to worry about any of the white of the canvas showing. So while we're printing here, let's talk a little bit about the 1200. I love the 1200. It's really a unique machine in the industry because of the size of it. It'll actually handle, um, we could have actually turned this 90 degrees. We could have actually put two of these in there. It would have been 32 inches wide and 24 inches deep, which would have plenty of room. The actual print area on the 1200 is right around 45 inches by just under 30 inches. We have almost 12 inches of depth. We can do 11.8 inch bed to head clearance. It is a, it's just a beast in the marketplace. Plus when you start to look at the marketplace, there are no machines that really fall into this category. There's some machines in the 24 by 36 inch range. And then you jump up to machines that are basically four foot by eight foot or eight foot by 10 foot. And I think when you look at most of the machines on the market that are 24 by 36, I think there may be one 24 by 48. They're actually more money than the 1200S is. So really a great machine for the money, very versatile. All right, there it comes, finished up. Awesome. If, uh, if I can get handed a flip up here to the screen, I actually had the timer running. If you can see up here, 
10 minutes and basically 20 seconds. As I always like to do, comfortably you'll be able to print one off of these, five an hour. If you actually set them side by side, for instance, if I went like this, you can see I actually get two of these on the bed and all of a sudden this 10 minute and 20 second print to do two of them would probably be more in the area about 15 minutes for the two. So it would, potentially you could turn around eight an hour, but we'll just go comfortable with five. And um, I don't want to embarrass Hannah with what she paid for this, but uh, she actually just paid to have the JPEG done, but the company that does it uh, also sells canvases. And for something like this, you're anywhere in the 60 to $90 range. Uh, this is a good quality canvas that we bought from, uh, I think over at Michaels. This is like a 16 to $18 canvas. Of course, you know, if you shop at Michael's, you always get a 20% off discount coupon or more uh, when you're there. So you may want to just load up when you have that opportunity to get some of these. But even if we, we look at the money she spent, which is about $10 to have the artwork done, and then the actual file itself, I mean, the actual canvas itself, say $18. And last but not least, a couple dollars worth of ink. You're still looking at making about $40 to $50 on one of these. And obviously, you wouldn't be paying for the artwork. You'd be doing it yourself. So you could actually charge for this part, templates, drop it in. This is a great Etsy store type of idea. It's a great idea for a novelty type of printing. Imagine if you were to go to a dog show or someplace where people had a lot of dogs. And heck, you could probably go down and set up right next to the dog park in town and with a bunch of these sitting around, take a picture of the people's dog and actually be able to Photoshop it and everything, get their approval, get a payment and deliver it to them, printed the next week, you know, on Tuesday or whatever, or ship it to them when it's done. It's a great opportunity, like I said, $2 worth of ink on a $15 to $16 canvas. And again, that's buying one off at Michael's. If you're buying these in quantity, we actually have a, co a customer here that in town that they get in shipments in, in like small trailer loads of these type of canvases that they print. But comfortably you can get, have something like this done, printed, produced, under $20 easily sell it for 50 to 60, $100 if it's, somebody's really, really wants you to do a lot of customization to it and do anywhere from five to eight of them an hour on this machine. Great, great money maker. So that's it, that's Don Copeland here with the Compress IEV 1200S. Thanks for watching us.